hold on to your seats, because what you're about to hear could change everything you thought you knew about ancient Greece. For centuries, the story of Greek origins has been widely accepted, an ancient people, shaped by the Mycenaeans, Minoans, and other Mediterranean civilizations. These cultures, whose influence spanned art, philosophy, democracy, and more, were believed to be the progenitors of the Greeks we know today. It was assumed that Greece's genetic makeup was rooted in the Mediterranean basin, with a few external influences here and there. But this all changes with the findings of a groundbreaking study. Imagine a world where everything you've learned about Greek origins is rewritten. This isn't just a small tweak in our understanding, this is a radical shift in how we think about the Greek people and their journey through history. The study, which delves into the ancient DNA of Greeks, shows that their ancestry isn't as simple as we once thought. Far from being just a product of local populations, the Greeks' genetic history involves diverse influences, from the Near East to Anatolia and beyond. This discovery suggests that ancient Greece was not an isolated entity but part of a larger, interconnected world. It's a revelation that's shaking the foundations of Greek identity, shedding new light on the ancient world's complexity. What does this mean for how we view ancient Greek civilization today? Are the Greeks the descendants of a homogenous, isolated group, or were they part of a much broader, multicultural network of ancient peoples? This study challenges everything we thought we knew. As we explore the findings, we'll uncover how these genetic links reveal a story of migration, interaction, and cultural exchange that has been hidden for centuries. The ancient Greeks were not just isolated in the Mediterranean, their roots stretch far wider than we ever imagined. It's time to rethink the origins of one of the world's most influential civilizations, and this groundbreaking research is the key to unlocking those answers. So, get ready because the truth about the ancient Greeks is far more complex and fascinating than you ever could have guessed. For centuries, the origins of the ancient Greeks were a matter of debate, but historians generally adhered to a broad narrative. According to this traditional story, the Greeks were primarily descended from the Mycenaeans, an ancient civilization that emerged in the Aegean region around 1600 BCE. The Mycenaeans built grand cities and palaces, developed a writing system, and were known for their warrior culture. Alongside them, the Minoans of Crete were another key group often cited as the ancestors of the Greeks. These early civilizations were considered foundational to the Greek identity and were thought to represent the first true Greek culture. The Minoans, with their advanced architecture and art, were believed to have had a significant influence on the development of Greek civilization, especially in terms of religion, trade, and artistic expression. The standard historical narrative also included the Dorians, a group traditionally thought to have invaded Greece around 1200 BCE, bringing with them their own dialects and customs. It was assumed that the Greeks, over time, evolved from these ancient populations, integrating and assimilating various aspects of their cultures. Their traditions, mythology, and language became the bedrock of what we now consider classic Greek civilization. However, this traditional view has begun to face serious challenges, especially in light of new scientific findings. While the historical narrative focused on these core groups, it largely overlooked the possibility of genetic influences from populations outside the Mediterranean. This has always been a matter of speculation, until now. The new genetic study is rewriting the story we thought we knew about Greek origins. What if the Mycenaeans and Minoans weren't the only contributors to the Greek gene pool? What if other groups, from the Near East and Anatolia, played a significant role in shaping the genetic landscape of the Greek people? The ancient Greeks might not have been as isolated as we once believed. Instead of being a single, homogenous group, they could have been part of a much larger network of interconnected civilizations, influencing and being influenced by neighboring cultures. This idea is a far cry from the traditional narrative and opens up new possibilities for understanding ancient Greece in a broader historical context. The study in question is the result of years of research by a team of international scientists and archaeologists, focused on unraveling the genetic history of ancient Greece. The primary goal of this study was to answer a question that has long intrigued scholars, where did the ancient Greeks come from? More specifically, the researchers wanted to trace the migrations, genetic exchanges, and influences that shaped the Greek population from prehistoric times through to the classical period. They aimed to understand whether the Greeks were a relatively isolated group, 
or if their genetic heritage was the product of significant interactions with other ancient civilizations. To answer this question, the team employed cutting-edge DNA analysis techniques, extracting genetic material from ancient human remains found in burial sites across Greece and surrounding regions. These remains span a broad time frame, from the Neolithic period, around 6000 BCE, to the Classical era, around 400 BCE, providing a comprehensive look at how Greek genetic makeup evolved over millennia. This approach is especially significant because it allows scientists to study the genetic variation of populations over time, shedding light on the complex patterns of migration, intermarriage, and cultural exchange that occurred throughout history. In the past, archaeologists and historians had to rely mainly on artifacts, pottery, and written records to piece together the story of ancient Greece. While these sources are invaluable, they don't provide a direct window into the genetic makeup of the people who lived in those times. But with the advent of ancient DNA analysis, researchers can now uncover the biological links between ancient peoples that were previously hidden. By studying the DNA of ancient Greeks, the research team hoped to identify patterns of genetic continuity and change, revealing how the people of Greece were connected to other groups in the ancient world. Were the Greeks truly a unique population, or did they share genetic ties with neighboring civilizations in the Near East, Anatolia, and beyond? The team's findings would answer these questions and potentially reshape our understanding of Greek history forever. The results of the study were nothing short of revolutionary. The researchers found that ancient Greeks were far more genetically diverse than was previously believed. While traditional narratives had long suggested that the Greeks were a relatively homogeneous population, genetically linked to the Mycenaeans and Minoans, the genetic evidence from this study paints a much more complex picture. The analysis revealed that the ancient Greeks were not isolated from the rest of the ancient world, but were instead part of a larger network of interconnected peoples. The DNA of these ancient Greeks showed significant genetic affinities with populations from the Near East, Anatolia, and even regions further afield. In particular, the study found that the Greeks shared genetic similarities with populations from what are now modern-day Turkey, Syria, and the Levant, areas that were home to some of the most advanced civilizations of the ancient world. These findings suggest that the ancient Greeks were not simply the descendants of local Mediterranean populations, but were shaped by a series of migrations, cultural exchanges, and intermarriages with people from other regions. The study uncovered evidence of these genetic influences across several periods of Greek history, from the Neolithic period all the way through to the Classical era. This means that the genetic makeup of the Greek population was not static but evolved over time, influenced by outside populations through waves of migration and trade. The researchers also found that the genetic connections between Greeks and populations from the Near East were not just a one-time event. Instead, these genetic links persisted for centuries, suggesting that the ancient Greeks were part of a larger, ongoing process of cultural and genetic exchange. This revelation challenges the notion that ancient Greece was a self-contained civilization, separate from the broader world. Instead, it reveals that the Greeks were a product of a much larger and more interconnected ancient world, shaped by interactions with neighboring civilizations for thousands of years. Perhaps the most surprising aspect of the study's findings is the extent to which the ancient Greeks were connected to populations from outside the Mediterranean. For centuries, historians and archaeologists have assumed that the Greeks were primarily influenced by neighboring Mediterranean cultures, like the Egyptians, Phoenicians, and Anatolians. While these influences were certainly important, the new genetic evidence suggests that the story of Greek ancestry is even more complex than we previously thought. The study reveals genetic connections between the ancient Greeks and populations from much further afield, regions like the Levant, Anatolia, and even parts of North Africa. These regions were home to some of the world's oldest and most advanced civilizations, including the Hittites, the Phoenicians, and the Egyptians. The genetic evidence suggests that the Greeks were not just influenced by these cultures, but were actually connected to them on a deeper level. The study found that the Greeks shared significant genetic markers with these populations, pointing to a long history of migration, trade, and cultural exchange. This challenges the traditional view of ancient Greece as an isolated civilization, separate from the rest of the ancient world. Instead, it paints a picture of a much more interconnected Mediterranean world, where people moved, traded, and intermingled across vast distances. 
The researchers also found that these genetic influences were not limited to a single period in Greek history. The genetic connections between the Greeks and populations from the Near East were present across different time periods, indicating that these interactions were ongoing and not just isolated events. This discovery opens up new possibilities for understanding the dynamics of ancient Greek society and its relationship with the broader ancient world. It also forces us to rethink our assumptions about the origins of Greek culture and identity. The implications of this study are far-reaching, not just for our understanding of ancient Greek history, but also for the broader question of identity. For centuries, the concept of Greek identity has been closely tied to the idea of a unified, distinct people who descended from the Mycenaeans, Minoans, and other indigenous populations of the Mediterranean. But the findings from this study suggest that Greek identity was far more fluid and complex than we ever realized. Rather than being the product of a single, homogenous group, Greek identity was shaped by centuries of migration, intermarriage, and cultural exchange with other ancient civilizations. In other words, the Greeks were not just a product of the Mediterranean world, they were part of a much larger, interconnected network of ancient peoples from all over the Near East, Anatolia, and beyond. This discovery challenges the traditional view of Greek identity as something fixed and unchanging, tied to a specific geographical region. Instead, it suggests that Greek identity was always evolving, shaped by the flow of people, ideas, and cultures from different parts of the ancient world. The study also forces us to rethink the role of genetics in shaping national and cultural identities. It reminds us that identities are not static, they are dynamic and constantly evolving, influenced by a wide range of factors, including migration, intermarriage, and cultural exchange. For the ancient Greeks, their identity was shaped not just by local traditions and customs, but by their interactions with other peoples across the ancient world. This revelation has profound implications not only for how we understand Greek history, but also for how we think about identity more broadly. It suggests that identity is not something fixed in time or space, but something fluid and ever-changing, shaped by the world around us. Like any groundbreaking discovery, the study's findings have sparked significant debate within the academic community. Some scholars are embracing the new evidence, excited by how it challenges traditional assumptions about Greek origins and identity. These researchers argue that the study offers a more nuanced, accurate view of Greek history, showing that the Greeks were not an isolated people but part of a much larger, interconnected world of ancient civilizations. They point to the genetic evidence as a key tool for rewriting the history of ancient Greece, offering insights into how migration and cultural exchange shaped the ancient Greek population over time. However, not all scholars are convinced. Some critics argue that the study's conclusions are based on incomplete or misinterpreted data. They suggest that while the genetic evidence may show connections between the Greeks and other ancient populations, this doesn't necessarily mean that the Greeks were a mixed population in the way the study suggests. These critics caution against drawing too many conclusions from genetic data alone, pointing out that cultural factors, such as language, religion, and social practices, are just as important in shaping identity as genetics. There are also concerns about the methodology used in the study, including the selection of samples and the interpretation of genetic markers. Some scholars argue that the study may overstate the extent of the genetic influences from the Near East and Anatolia, and that other factors, such as local traditions and social structures, played a more significant role in shaping Greek identity. Despite these criticisms, the study has undoubtedly opened up new avenues for research and discussion. Whether or not the findings are entirely conclusive, they have forced scholars to reconsider their assumptions about Greek history and identity, and they have sparked a larger conversation about the role of genetics in understanding the past. It remains to be seen how this debate will evolve, but one thing is clear, the story of the ancient Greeks is far more complex and interconnected than we ever imagined. As we wrap up, one thing is crystal clear, the story of the ancient Greeks is far more complex than we ever imagined. This groundbreaking study has revealed the true depth of the Greeks' genetic connections to other ancient civilizations, showing that their ancestry was not shaped by a single group but by waves of migration, trade, and cultural exchange with people from the Near East, Anatolia, and beyond. The findings challenge long-standing assumptions about Greek identity, forcing us to rethink what it means to be Greek and how that identity evolved over time. The ancient Greeks were part of a much larger, interconnected world, 
where people and ideas moved freely across borders, shaping the genetic and cultural landscape of the Mediterranean. This discovery is a perfect example of how science and research can forever change the way we view history. It's a reminder that history is never set in stone, it's constantly being written and rewritten as new evidence comes to light. So, the next time you think about ancient Greece, remember that the story of the Greeks is one of migration, mixing, and adaptation, shaped by countless interactions with neighboring civilizations. As we continue to uncover more about the past, we'll undoubtedly learn even more about the dynamic world of the ancient Greeks, and how their civilization was not just the product of one culture, but of many. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Greek history, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the fascinating history of the ancient world. The past is full of surprises, and we're only scratching the surface of what we can learn from it.